Purists had better look away now. This is a Taiwan reproduction 124 hood grille for pre facelift models. Since none of the sellers include pictures larger than that of a postage stamp from pre approved selective angles, here is a 4K resolution unboxing of one picked up straight out of my post office box. Make the call for yourself if this is worth buying, but wait till the end of the video before you make that choice. Already, I noticed a problem before even taking it out of the bag. Granted, it could have happened in shipping, but already I'm not impressed. The middle strip has a gap at the top and has moved downwards by more than 5mm. Overall, the chrome is passable, though it's certainly not up to the grade of the OEM grills, but you can't really expect it to be either, because it's a lot cheaper to buy this versus the uh, OEM item. I can already tell this isn't going to be a it just works kind of install, judging by the bent mounting tabs already visible straight out of the box. Little did I know that was going to be just the beginning of the fitment issues. Before my first of many, many attempts at installation of this grill, I decided to go ahead and correct this incorrectly located central strip. It was just a case of loosening the bottom screw and sliding it up again, then reinstalling the screw. There was a scratch on the strip where it was touching the shell, but I guess that's unavoidable. These defects in the chrome are naturally not visible in any of the pictures online. I'm realistic and can accept that overall it does look pretty good and I will accept this pitting within the concave areas. In future I think I'll seek a new old stock OEM grill but for now I have bigger fish to fry and this one will have to do. When you compare it to the original one from the car the chrome does look a lot better. But the quality of construction definitely doesn't deserve to even stand in the shadow of the original item. This was the first attempt at install, and well, my opinion was, this grill is a piece of shit. In all honesty, I still stand by that original opinion, but after about three hours of removal, finessing the mounting tabs to the correct length and shape, then reinstalling, I did eventually get a pretty acceptable installation, which will be visible in the next scene. Manufacturing tolerances are practically non-existent, and the mounting tabs are all different lengths. It was because of this that I could not get the grill to mount centrally till this was corrected. Here we are three hours later and I'm finally mostly okay with how this grill has fit on my 124. Do I recommend you buy one of these? Hell no. Can it look okay with a lot of work? you be the judge. It will serve the purpose of getting the car licensed and one day I'll put a decent one on there. So for now, I'm okay with it. 